welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a packing video for you. Um, and if you see the little thing above, this is a sponsored video. So I received some luggage and I want to share it with you. We're going to pack it. Um, yes, this was sent to me, but as always, the opinions are my own. And the brand is Level 8. Um, they sell all kinds of different hard-sided luggage. They have backpacks, they have packing cubes, and all of that. Of course, the link is down below. So I chose to get this carry-on size. It is 20 inches which means it is not only good for carry-on in the United States, but for most international carriers too. So it is small enough that I can take it on board with me. It also came with this nifty dust cover, which I think is pretty fantastic. You know, you gotta put your luggage away, it gets dusty. Now, here's some stuff. We have the, the handrail is aluminum. Gotta push the button. Um, this is your top handle and it goes back down, which I love that it doesn't stick out. Same thing on the sides, they come out, they go back down. You have your feet on the back, so when you're, if you wanna just sit it on its side, it can sit there. Um, it does have the 365 degree spinny wheels, which are really smooth and they almost feel like a roller skate or a skateboard wheel and they're super smooth to roll so that was the thing I learned in London was it's hard rolling a suitcase over um, cobblestone and uneven streets but with the four wheels and the 365 it definitely will help on the top there's a built-in lock that is TSA approved so it does have the key that TSA can open it with you can set your own combination and you just open it like that and it releases it releases your zippers. Um, I believe the zipper is YYK, which is a good quality brand. And it does open like a book. So let's get it. Oh, and the outside is textured. You hear that? For scratch resistance. And it's pretty solid. I believe this weighs eight to 10 pounds, I forgot. So when you open it up, what I love about this very specific luggage is it has the zipper mesh covers over both sides. Typically, my suitcases have a mesh on one side and the other just has the straps, which is fine because I use packing cubes, but this will keep your little things if you stuff in between, it keeps them under control. Now, I will be keeping my directions because it tells me how to do the lock, but it's high quality, hard shell, light and strong. It is aluminum alloy, the trolley handle, 360 spinner wheels, and spacious inside, and I concur. So, the one thing I also like on these, I need to take these little silica packs out, is these little zipper compartments, which, obviously can hold papers they can hold your travel documents i'm not a fan of putting things like passports and electronics in my carry-on because sometimes you have to get check but do you do you you definitely need to keep a copy of your passport and your travel documents and this is a great place to put them uh, you can also open this up and put like a quick change of clothes in here if you don't want to have to dig through your entire luggage so we'll open up one side first and on the inside, it's just your fabric covered. I like that it goes all the way into the corners because corners take, you know, that's packing space when you're trying to do carry on. Um, so both sides are the same. The only difference on the side with the trolley handle is you're gonna have the bumps from where the handle is stored in your luggage. Um, so you'll have, you know, this side to contend with because here is your handles right here. But you can fit some packing cubes, you can strategically pack if you're trying to get a lot of stuff. This is not a packing video of me trying to carry on a flight. I'm going to drive where I'm going this weekend. So I'm not trying to stuff a bunch of things in here, but I truly feel like I could. And when I do go on a trip, I will let you know. Also, if you are going on a trip, like, 
a long vacation, you're trying to pack carry on only because you're afraid to lose your luggage. You just want to keep it with you. I totally get it. You could treat this like a packing cube in here because of the zipper top. You could fold everything up and stuff it in here just like this whole side is a packing cube and zip it up and nothing's going to fly around. I think that's pretty fantastic. Now, I am going to be going just for a couple days, so I don't have a lot of stuff, but I want to take this with me and try it out. The other thing I want to tell you is um, down below there's a link to my Amazon store. It is an affiliate link. Just be aware. I mean, you get a small, small percentage, but it's a great place for me to leave links to the travel items that I like. So some of the things here are one of the things here I'm going to show you. I did order or a couple things I'll show you. I did order on Amazon and they should be linked in my store below under travel essentials. So if you click the link, it'll take you to Amazon and then you'll see all the categories. If you look under travel, you'll find some travel stuff that I think are great buys to have when traveling. I may not be using most of it today, but it's there. So to start off with, it's just my toiletry bag. I keep, pretty much keep this packed. However, I do want to get a new one. This one is a little heavy and I don't need this much stuff, but it's been packed since my trip, but it fits. I mean, it will fit right in this compartment, right? So that's good. Ooh, let me go this direction with it. So that fits right in there. Obviously, if I was trying to go packing light, this would not. <laughs> I would not be packing this because there's a lot in here, but that's okay. And I'm not packing like my medications and stuff because... I'm still taking that, but that will be a later time. What I am packing and is on my list, and I just bought this, and it's on sale, is an Anchor Power Bank. Now, this is, I mean, this is a substantial power break. I would say it weighs more than a pound. Um, it is rechargeable. This specific one is a 21,000, 20,100 mc something 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 so it basically it will charge my cell phone multiple times it can charge my uh rechargeable light that i need when i take crafts places it'll keep this running for more than a day which is important for me it would also keep my laptop running for you know a few hours so and that's a macbook so this is a great thing to have now i wouldn't take it if if weight you know i wouldn't necessarily take it if i was not going somewhere that I think I would need it because it does weigh a fair amount. But this is linked. It comes with this bag and it's cord. It does take a little bit to charge. So it will be something I would use during the day and charge up at night. Great to also have in your car for emergencies and will be a great Christmas gift. For anybody who's traveling in your life, that is good. I also will be packing one of these. Um, these are just face wash face washers. It's like a fleece material. Um, it's hundred percent polyester, but what they do, and I love them to wash my face. I don't need to use harsh chemicals or soaps. I usually just use water and maybe a little like very mild face wash. And it's so soft and delicate on your skin. And I am obsessed with these. So I always take them with me wherever I go. Um, just some undie socks, bras, because you need those when you're traveling, right? Now, the other things that I bring are my power cords. I try to keep them all together. But this is the power cord I wanted to show you that I bought. If you have an Apple Watch and an Apple uh, phone like I do, this is one cord that can charge them both, which I love. It was perfect in England. It only took up one plug, so one brick, and I would put my phone in one and my watch on the other and they would both charge. The other thing that I have here is a cord wrangler. This is Velcro, but I linked a different one in, but you keep it on here and it holds your cords together. So, and then I have some a power brick in here. I also still have my England stuff, but again, it's fine. I'm not going anywhere that I have to conserve space. But I always try to keep just a little makeup bag with all of my electronics together. Again, if I'm going on an airplane, I wouldn't put them in my luggage. I would put those in my carry-on bag because that's how I travel. Um, this will fit in here, this light. I'm not sure if I'm bringing it, so I'm not going to pack it right now. But I also have this listed in my store. I think it's under like my crafting stuff. This is a rechargeable lamp. 
that I got for cross stitching. So it does light up, but it's also a magnifying lamp. It's a magnifier and it, this is very heavy and it sits and then this comes down and I can see my cross stitch. I took this with me to London and it worked perfect. No problems. I put a sock on it just to keep it from, I know, the sock keeps it from getting scratched in my luggage when I was traveling. So I'm going to put that over there because I'm not packing that right away. But we'll zip up this side. And then over here, I am bringing a pair of boots, just a little pair of booties in case we go out in the evening. We're going to be with a bunch of teenage girls, so probably will not. Uh, sweatshirt and sweatpants to travel home in. So I'm leaving on Friday, coming home on Sunday. So I don't need a lot of really anything to be truthful with you. So let's put that in there. And then I am bringing just a pair of jeans and a flannel shirt because the weather is going to be in the 50s guys i need to move these boots the weather is going to be in the 50s this weekend i don't know if this is ohio or what but it doesn't well these aren't going to go very well there we go i'm just trying also not to get my clothes dirty i should have a shoe bag but i don't so we'll just do this in here and now when I need to add because I need to put a t-shirt in here to wear under my shirts it's just in the wash um, I can do that zip it up and then these are great zippers just so you know I'm not having any trouble with overlapping or anything like that I think the quality is definitely here if you're looking for a piece of luggage they also have them and this is like like i said the 20 inch they come i think in a 24 and a 28 so they do have the three sizes of luggage and this one is avocado green and it's just everything all right guys that was my little packing video. I hope you enjoyed it. And check out level eight if you are in need of some luggage. I think this is a good value for your dollars and will last you a long time. All right, guys, have a good one. I will talk with you later. Bye.